So finally, I've got around to doing my walk around of my 1968 MGB Roadster that I've had for 22 years. Walk around always makes me feel uncomfortable because it sounds like reach around. This is not what this is, just in case you're in the wrong place. Um, so first, let's just have a quick look inside because that is probably a good place to start. Now, interior-wise, I did fit a new interior, obviously, still 22 years ago. It hasn't had much use. It's got done less than 10,000 miles since I got it going in, oh God, in 1990. Uh, no, I've had it 22 years, but it didn't start working until 2002. Um, and the great thing is, it's still looking fairly new. I got the seat second hand. Uh, new dash, new carpets, new everything really. Uh, the screen's still old. Uh, the one thing I forgot to do was put sun visors on uh, and I can never be bothered to get around to it. The roof is a bit haggard because I put it on myself. Uh, the shortcuts I started to take as I got closer to getting it on the road because the parts would have to be ordered in. And one of the things that I did and I'm not proud of is down here, I don't know if you can properly see, but holding the accelerator pedal should be a bracket. And that bracket is steel bracket that you bolt in. And I couldn't get one, but I got a carpet gripper, an aluminium carpet gripper that I bent into shape, put some holes in it, bolted it in thinking, it I just need it for a few weeks and I'll be able to order the other part. I forgot all about it and 22 years later it's still there. Um, I do like these old map lights. Uh, this one doesn't actually work because I haven't been bothered to get around to do the wiring. These are just stuck on. I've actually bought new ones but uh, once again they were bought months and months, probably years ago that I haven't fitted. This... Oh, is it gonna squirt water up? No, it's gonna hit me in the face. Um, this is from a Jaguar because originally it was a pump, you pumped and it squirted out water. But other than that, I do like the interior. It's very basic, very functional uh, heater um, and two speed. I can't remember if the two speed is the wipers or the heater. Um, but that's very simple. It doesn't have the horn there, it's on the stalk. Um, and I just love how basic it is. These are quite old, it's quite tarnished. And of the interior, the, one of the only things that survived are these door handles. Uh, this one is actually broken. And the other thing is this. Uh, that survived. I was never going to put stereo in it because what's the point when you can, the engine is so loud. I had to recover these. Um, and it could have gone, I could have put lots of chrome shiny bits, but I kept it very basic and as much uh, originality as possible uh, without making it look, you know, with the later mods that you can get. So this is all uh, original from an original, uh, I bought it off eBay for about 60 quid. The steering wheel is reproduction. Uh, I think I bought that from the MGB Hive. Um, and it's just, it's stronger. The, the original one that I had had a big crack just here, uh, but this one's just stronger and I've still got the original, so that originality is retained. And here's fifth gear, overdrive, uh, electronic fifth gear, which uh, hardly ever use because I don't really go that fast. Uh, there's some vents down the side that are supposed to give you hot air in the winter, but I never drive it in the winter. So let's, open the bonnet and have a look under the hood. Well, I'll open the bonnet, but first we'll walk around the outside. Uh, let's have a look. Oh my goodness. I'm on, on someone's farmland and I suspect that I'll get shot if I don't. I'm not careful. Um, wire wheels. So I came with uh, the wire wheels. I didn't have to do anything other than I had to buy the spinners, which was second hand. Um, I bought the wheels, gradually changed the wheels and check out the tyres. These are from 2001 and they're still soft rubber. Uh, far too big so it's geared all wrong. Look at all the mess on the paint. Uh, it hasn't been washed in probably about eight years. Uh, and these marks you see here 
are from boxes that have been thrown on it, which I feel quite bad about. Uh, also things like these, very wobbly. I need to work on uh, tightening those things up. Uh, along the front, I left off the overriders and I quite like that. I quite like that it's got no overriders. It's a much cleaner look. Um, a lot of dead flies, obviously, on the front. Uh, but let's have a look under the bonnet before we go around the back. So, completely, completely and utterly standard apart from coil. It's got electronic ignition, which is all contained within the distributor, and it's got a modern uh, reservoir for the brake fluid. Other than that, nothing different at all. Oh yeah, it's got a motor for the screen wash. And that's it. It's fairly basic, rustic, messy, and I should really clean it, but who can be asked, right? And it's got the red MGB badge, which should really have the black one, but I can't. I'm not really that bothered. In fact, I actually deliberately went out and got that one. Uh, the grill is the original one that the car came with and it's an aluminium bonnet and down the side the paint's quite rippled it's not in great condition um, it's got three new wheels I need one more new wheel which is the one back here um, and I had to take this wheel off to change the brake shoes and it wouldn't the wheel wouldn't come off I took it to the garage and the garage said you're gonna to have to burn it off uh, it's gonna to have to get cut off and I did not like the idea of that and I came home and in the next video I'll explain how I took it off uh, just using some stuff that I had around the garage uh, but otherwise really basic I mean look it's kind of the chrome which was new 22 years ago it's starting to come off because it's right above the exhaust and the heat comes up and it's burnt the very thin uh, layer of if you look look how thin the chrome is it's just peeling off um, now there's a bit of a bit of a gap here because the there's a um, the holder for the hood here and it's really heavy so it's just bent out of shape now something else that is a bit odd here is this little extra edge here because it's had a new uh, lower part of this wing um, I say new obviously all everything that's happened has happened in the last 20 years uh, and as you can see the mess and the dust is just because I'm a lazy mofo and I don't clean it um, and the marks on the bonnet, oh my god, they don't look good, do they? That's oil dripping from the garage door mechanism, and the rest is just dust and scratches from boxes, and that's the screen wash that I just squirted. Um, and that's about it, really. It's still really solid underneath, it's still red, no rust whatsoever because it doesn't go out in the rain, um, and that's about it, really. Not modern lights, it's still got the old lights. From a distance. It's a great looking car. Really fun to drive, easy to maintain, and I'd recommend it to anybody.